comments or notes are often added to documents to aid in their development. You can use regular editing techniques to copy, move, and delete those comments and notes. If you previously inserted comments or notes into your document and you want to copy, move, or delete one of them, you can use techniques you already know for editing regular text. The trick is to do your work in draft mode. Well, let me show you why this is so. You can see a document on the screen here, and it has some comments or notes out at the right-hand side. You can also see where those appear within the document. But watch what happens when I switch to draft mode. I go over to view, and I go to draft mode right there. I can't see the comments out to the side anymore, but what I can see is what are called comment marks in the document. These denote where a comment or a note is located. To copy a note or a comment, all I have to do is work with those comment marks. For instance, let's say that I want, oh, I don't know, this one right down here, the one that says ALW2, that's a comment mark. I select that comment mark, and now I'm going to press Control C. That copies it to the clipboard. And let's say that I want it placed right down here at the end of this paragraph. All I have to do is put my insertion point there and press Control V to paste it in. Now that comment mark is down here as well. You'll note that when you paste the comment mark at the new location, there is no text selected to which the comment or the note applies. In other words, the comment or note is inserted, but no text is highlighted and associated with the comment or the note. If you want to move a comment or note to another location in the document, or even into another document, you can use techniques that you already know for moving regular text. To move a comment or note, all you have to do is select the comment marker that you want to work with, that's what I've selected up here, AW1. I'm going to press Control X. It is now cut from that location, and I can go and place it down at some other point within the document by pressing Control V. And now I have moved that comment down to where I had indicated. A variation on this process allows you to easily delete comments. All you have to do is, again, select the comment marker and then press Control X like we did a few moments ago which will cut it to the clipboard or I can just press the delete key and that comment is removed. Now if I want to go back to my regular uh, way of viewing the document then all I have to do is display it and you can see that my comments have been edited the way that I wanted them to be. That's, that's how you can use regular editing techniques to copy, move, and delete comments. I hope that you found this quick tip helpful. And if you did, you might want to consider signing up for the free Word Tips newsletter. I send out the newsletter every week, and it contains many tips similar to this that allow you to work better with Microsoft Word. Information on signing up is in the notes just below this video. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.